Hey everyone, welcome to Wanna Ride Bikes with Robert. I got a new toy. It is a new camera. It's a Cannondale. Not a Cannondale, sorry, I'm talking about bikes. It's a Canon Rebel. It's a DSLR. And I got it off a friend. He had it for a year and didn't like it. He said, you know, it was not his choice because he's a Nikon camera guy. So I asked him what's he going to do with the Canon Rebel and he said, uh, if you want it, offer me a price. Offered him a price and he said, it's yours. The only difference is he kept the mic that went with it because it went with his Nikon. So I wasn't really worried about the mic. I ordered one. It didn't come yet. So if this audio is pretty low, it's because it's the camera. It's not, you know, it's, it's mic ready. I can hook all kind of stuff up to it. Maybe a little too much camera for me. But uh, I figured I'd do a vlog and see if it worked and how'd it look. Can you see my face? I mean, how's it working? What's it look? If I do some vlogs or over the head, looking down at stuff that I make, a DIY thing for my bikes, I'll be using this camera. I'm going to be doing some PVC things on making overhead camera angles. I'm going to use some uh, PVC and I'm going to make a steady cam out of PVC for this camera. And I'm going to do an over the shoulder one. And I'm going to have that together where I'm going to glue some parts and not glue some parts. So this camera is going to come in handy for all that. The mic I ordered was a Rode mic that's made for these camera. I mean, I don't know if it's made for the camera, but you know, I ordered it. It came with high reviews. He uses one, my other friend uses one, and I ordered it, but you know, with this skunk going around, things are getting kind of hanky and janky with the mail and items you ordered. So that's what we're going to be doing is making some PVC camera things. I made my GoPro sticks, I have an old broom handle. I got another painter one that extends. Let me see if I can get that. Okay, this is my camera, my GoPro. What I did was I put a GoPro mount, you know, handlebar mount right here, and then I put one right here. That way, you know, when you're, all you do is twist. I'm trying to learn how to do my camera. So when you twist, if I can get it to twist, I'm going the wrong way. It extends. Then you tighten it and it stays. So I still use this for painting, so I didn't want to hack this off. So I just put a GoPro handlebar mount right there and right here. That way I can get both angles, put two cameras on there. So I thought about just making some brackets and putting this up there and hanging a GoPro for over the head angle. But if I get a bridge, I can put all kind of cameras on the sides, on the view. I'm going to make it so I can see all the video. You know, so the folks viewing can get every angle. And then I can blend all them together. You know, I got all these cameras. I got to figure out how to use them. And it, you know, I made some GoPro sticks. Made a chain guide. Made a, a DIY chin mount. I made some other things. And my phone's ringing. Should tell you who's calling. Call from Portfolio Icon. Oh, there you go. Call from. Anyway, Portfolio I made some icon. things DIY, holding the camera, putting it on one tripod, and mounting it down. And what I did was, I was thinking, you know, I need something to bridge over it so you could look down and let me make it and you can see how I'm making it. Then I thought about 
having a camera over my back. Thinking about doing that. So I'm trying to think about all these angles, you know. But if you have all these angles, you got to have the software to uh, blend them all together. So now I'm looking at software trying to make these videos. So one, one step at a time. You know, I got this new camera. I'm trying to work it out. You know, I keep looking at the uh, screen on the side. So if my eyes drift, it's because of this camera off to the side. It is a camera that has a, a flip screen. You can view yourself. It's actually a DSLR. You know, he used it for his vlogs. But he does it because he teaches classes. And he had to get a new camera because of the, the skunk going around. He has to do it from his house. So he needed to upgrade the camera. So this fell to the side because he was not using it. He likes a Nikon. He has them little Nikons that get like real digital, real up close. He's a neat card guy. He's not a Canon guy. So I locked out and got the Canon at a good price. So, hey, you know what to do. If you like my videos, hit the like button. Where's my thumb? Oh, right there. Hit the like button. Thank you all my subscribers. I hope we're all being safe out there from this skunk. It's going to be over soon. Let's all stick together and make the best out of what we can. You know, we're all in this the same way. Some people are against it. Some are saying it's a, it's a, you know, it's a lie and all that. It is what it is. Skunks are everywhere. You avoid them. You stay away, six feet away. So that's what we got to practice. Wear a mask, wash your hands, Let's just say stay, folks. Let's try to make it work. Thanks for watching, and you know what to do. Send it, ride it out. Thanks for watching.